We go to the campus of NJIT in Newark for this men's soccer clash in Berkeley College. Looks to strike first, but the ninth shot hits the post, and Lancaster Bible clears it out, and we remain scoreless. Berkeley gets another opportunity here, but watch Lancaster Bible keeper Van Stufen make the save for the Chargers here in the first half. Then watch Berkeley keeper Jonathan Pena Ortiz make the stop here on the rocket off the free kick from Enko Navarrete, and we still have no score. Okay, time is running out here in the first half and watch Lancaster Bible get the turnover, but it's Berkeley goalie Pena Ortiz with the sparkling save, and we go to halftime scoreless. What a stop. All right, second half we go, and Kevin Ortiz creates a chance here for Berkeley, but his shot goes just high, and we still have no score in this defensive battle. Lancaster Bible gets a chance here on the long-distance rocket, but once again, Pena Ortiz is there for the stop for the Berkeley Knights. Berkeley gets a great chance on another free kick, but the blast goes high, and this defensive struggle continues still with no score here in the second half. All right, watch Lancaster Bible send the through ball to Josiah Groff, but once again, it's Jonathan Ortiz Pena saving the day with another sparkling stop for Berkeley. He was great all game. Okay, we have less than three minutes to go in regulation and watch Brian Costa with the shot, but Lancaster Bible keeper Andrew Costed makes the stop. Then with less than 10 seconds to go, it's Josiah Groff with the shot for Lancaster Bible, but it goes high and we're going to overtime, not at zero. Wow. Okay, first overtime and watch Berkeley send in the quick shot, but Lancaster Bible keeper Andrew Kofstad is there for the save, and that was the kind of day it was for the Knights. And then with 4.06 left in the first overtime, watch Dylan Papernick split the defense, and he scores the golden goal to lift Lancaster Bible to a stunning win, one to nothing, as Berkeley College falls to 0-3 on the young season. We were just unfortunate. We just couldn't put the ball in the back of the net today. We had a lot of clear chances, but... We just panic when we're in the final third. It comes from myself and my teammates. We possess the ball well, but when it comes to the final third, we just can't put the ball in the back of the net. Simple as that. The problem was we were doing really well on the first and the second half, but the problem is we just couldn't finish, you know? So our team, we were playing every time we get to the, to the 18, we couldn't finish the ball. So that's how we got the one goal in. Because if you attack and you attack and you attack and you never get a goal, you were going to end up getting scored on at the end of the game. So that's what happened to us today, unfortunately. Tough loss for the Berkeley Knights in overtime. They had plenty of opportunities to score. They haven't scored this season, but they feel once they do, it's going to open up the floodgates because they have talent on this team. All what it takes is for one goal to go in. All we need is a little confidence booster. I'm sure once we get that one in, we're going to get really confident, and that's when all the goals start coming in. As soon as we get in uh, our opportunities and actually finish them, that's when we're going to start doing really well this season. We play very attractive soccer in the two-thirds of the field. The, the final third is the biggest problem, and uh, eventually one of these guys have to step up and score some goals. Kevin Ortiz is one of the key players on this team for the Knights. I'm a junior now, and when I was recruited by Bruno as a freshman, he offered me a lot. Um, he told me I'd be getting playing time. He told me that um, I'll fit in well with his style of a play, the 4-3-3 attacker. And my freshman year, I did quite well, and I adapted pretty well from there. And from there on out, I just decided to stick with Bruno because he knows how to get the full potential out of me. Pedro Dos Santos played right down the street at National Power St. Benedict, had a couple of bad knee injuries. Now he has the opportunity to continue his academic and athletic career here at Berkeley. Me, I graduated a few years ago from St. Benedict's Prep uh, in Newark, and uh, I had two knee, knee surgeries before I graduated, so I had to take some time off. Uh, I actually had to take a long time off in order to rehab my knee and play again. And then Coach Bruno reached out to me and asked if I wanted to come in, and I said yes. So. It's really good. I mean, uh, the classes are good, you know, it's sh on small classes, so you can really pay attention to what the professor is saying. It's like not like you're in a big group of kids where you're just another number, you know, so it's really one-on-one -on -one focus in class. And, you know, the athletics is good. We work hard, we're playing hard. We just haven't gotten lucky in the games yet, but eventually we will. Head coach Bruno Ferrer is also in the admissions office here at Berkeley, and he said they're looking for a certain student athlete, and he feels anyone, even if you're not an athlete, should check out Berkeley. The type of players that are student athletes that we're looking for right now um, are guys that, you know, are decent students, um, probably the guys that didn't have an opportunity uh, to go to a different college. Um, maybe the grades aren't the strongest uh, for whatever reason. Um, those are the type of guys that we want to give a second chance to or a chance in college because a lot of these kids may not get that opportunity in, in uh, other schools. Um, another, another thing is the guys that want to win and want to evolve as a soccer player in the next four years. 
and if people want to get involved in, or want to contact you, not just to, to play soccer, but to be a student in general here, how would they go about that? Um, they can actually call me, 973-278-5400, and my extension is 1216, or they can email me, brf at berkeleycollege.edu.